in the last video we deployed this website in the development mode on this domain so now what we want to do is we want to move this into production mode for production mode we have this file called crowd orders.py and here if you see then it has the database of mysql but right now we are using sqlite database currently our database is sqlite and since we are using our development.py it has sqlite database now in order to change that we need to do a couple of things so first we'll install something we'll do pip install mysql client okay so i have already installed it and if it is not available in your virtual environment it will download and install itself i have created a small steps for this so we did the pip install now we need to also move this existing sqlite database to some file so that we can load it later on so we will take this command python manage.py dump data and data dump.json file and we'll copy it here all right so this should have created a data dump.json file for us if we go to the voting and crowd by to the crowd by voter yeah so here you have your data dump.json file basically this data dump.json contains all the entries that the database has into a json format after that okay so what are we left with now now we need to change the crowd orders.py file and we need to change this database parameters into it okay so my crowd orders.py file is here hmm. so there are some things that we need to change in this file first thing is we need to remove this domain and use our domain name that we are that we have right now so this is our domain name paste it here you can remove http and the slashes into it we'll do the same thing here alright so after changing the domains what we we'll need to do is we have to make changes in this so our engine is SQLite engine the name of the database should be your username dollar your database name we need to change this if we go to our databases tab so under this database tab we have our mysql database here we need to create one database so I'll name it crowd order and click on create so this will create a database for you hmm. so here we have it so this is our database name and under the name section in databases we need to provide our database name after this what we can do is we have the user right so this should have our username if we go into this file user is your username and in this case our username is 17 crowd After that password, the password that I have set for this database is sqldb at 123 
and now we need to add our host so our database host is this all right now we can remove the port we already have our host there so we don't need the port anymore after making these changes we can do one thing just in order to see whether we receive any errors or not we'll make debug true later on we can make it to false because in production the debug should be false just remember that all right so i think we have made all the required changes into it now we'll save it all right our file is saved now we go to settings.py inside the init.py file we remove the development since we are we made the changes in the crowd orders.py we are going to import that crowd orders from crowd orders make sure you don't write the full file name you need to write from dot just the file name not the extension you don't need you don't have to add the dot pi while importing it let me make sure i have this right spelling so c r o w d 0 r d e r s c r o w d c r it's right now i'll save it after saving this hmm. so our next step let's see what our next step is yeah we change the init.py under settings now we need to run this command in order to migrate all the data from existing database to mysql database all right so it should be double dash it was a single dash so this is creating the database this is running the migrations and it will create the database for us this might take a bit of time so what i'll do is i'll stop this video here and in the next video we'll be following with the other steps see you in the next one